What is a bulky base in organic chemistry? If you're studying organic chemistry and keep coming across the term bulky base, you're probably wondering what makes a base bulky and how it affects chemical reactions. Let's break it down. In organic chemistry, a base is considered bulky due to its size and shape, which influences how it interacts with other molecules. The most common bulky bases you'll encounter are potassium T-butoxide, often written as TBUOK or potassium tert-butoxide, and lithium diisopropylamide, LDA. To understand why these bases are bulky, let's look at their structure. Potassium T-butoxide, for example, has a large tert-butyl group attached to the oxygen atom. This group is essentially a carbon with three methyl groups attached, making it quite large and cumbersome. When it comes to E2 elimination reactions, the bulkiness of the base plays a significant role. Normally, according to Zaitsev's rule, the more substituted alkene is the preferred product because it is more stable. However, when a bulky base is used, the situation changes. The bulky base prefers to remove a proton from the less substituted beta carbon due to steric hindrance. This means that instead of forming the more stable, more substituted alkene, the reaction favors the formation of the less substituted alkene. This is known as the anti-Zaitsev or Hoffman product. For instance, if you use sodium methoxide, a smaller base, you'll likely get the Zaitsev product as the major product. But if you switch to potassium T-butoxide, the bulky base will make it easier to remove a proton from the primary beta carbon, leading to the formation of the less substituted alkene as the major product. This is because the bulky base has a harder time approaching the more substituted beta carbons due to the steric clash between the base's large groups and the alkyl halides groups. This clash increases the energy of the transition state for forming the Zaitsev product, making it less favorable. Other bulky bases like LDA also behave similarly, although potassium T-butoxide is by far the most commonly used. These bases are crucial in controlling the outcome of E2 reactions, especially when you need to form specific alkenes. In summary, a bulky base in organic chemistry is a base with a large sterically hindered structure that influences the outcome of E2 elimination reactions by favoring the formation of less substituted alkenes due to steric interactions. Understanding this concept is key to predicting and controlling the products of these reactions.